Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we're going to do a review on a swivel sliding transfer bench and this product was sent to us by Eagle Health. So I wanted to go over a few of the details before we actually put it inside a shower tub combo and a shower stall. So it did not take any tools to put together. I put it together in about 10 minutes. I wanted to go over just a few specifications on this uh, transfer bench. The weight limit on it is 400 pounds. The seat height is adjustable from 21 and 3 quarters inch up to 26 inches. The seat size is 17 and 3 quarters wide by 14 and 3 quarters in depth. The carriage that it sits on varies from 39 to 40 inches in length and the depth of the carriage varies from about 18 and a half inches to 20 and a half inches. They have all of these measurements on their side check to see if this might be something that works for you with your setup. Because this is a hygiene product, it is non-returnable. So please take good measurements when you do that. The seat also has a cutout here in the middle as you can see right here. And this is just gonna assist a little bit better with personal hygiene. It also has a safety belt that attaches with Velcro. And then it has three levers in the front. The lever right here is for the swivel part of this chair. Now this chair will swivel 360 degrees and it actually locks every 90 degrees. So you can hear that lock right there. And then these two little levers right here actually release a push button. So this is locked right here at the end of the carriage. If you push this lever down, it releases the seat so it will slide along the carriage. It also locks at the other end and you have another lever on that side to release it when you're coming back. So as you come back, you can hear it locks into place here. So now turn this this way. I'm going to show you how it slides across the carriage here. So if I was going to get into the shower, I would be sitting down on this seat like this. Then I'm going to turn, use the swivel lever to turn. I would place my feet inside the tub or inside the shower, lock it into position. I'm going to use this little lever to release the button so that my seat will slide. I'm going to slide right down the carriage here and you hear it locks into place on the other side. Then we're going to push this little lever here, slide it back right down the carriage here. It locks in. Here is the lever for the swivel seat. I turn to the side and it locks in to the 90 degrees so that I can get out of my tub. So that's how you use this. Now we're going to demonstrate actually in a tub shower. Now we're going to demonstrate how to use the swivel sliding transfer bench in a shower and tub combination. So I've got it here in the shower. I want to give you a reminder. You have got to take measurements of wherever you're using this. So this carriage is 39 to 40 inches long and the depth can vary a little bit from 18.5 to 20.5 inches in depth here. So the reason I'm pointing this out is, is you need to measure from where your tub starts to angle up in the back because you can't slide this back too far. That's about as far as you can slide it back and then measure forward so that you're going to know how much room you're going to have if you have a toilet seat right here next to the tub, kind of like I do, how much room you're going to have to bring your feet around as you swivel the seat. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So in this uh, circumstance, I would take, if I was on a walker, I would back up to the seat here on the outside of the tub. I would go ahead and sit down and in, after sitting down, you've got your swivel seat lever here. So you're going to push that down. And as you can see, the distance between my toilet and this bench is a little narrow. So that's what I'm telling you to pay attention to when you take your measurements, but it is doable. So I'm going to turn around here and this will allow me to kind of bring my legs up onto the tub rather than stepping over the tub. So I'm going to bring this leg over. There is a little lever here I'm pressing in to release that knob. And as I do that, I just give a little shove with my hips. It gets the going on the track and then I'm going to bring this other leg right over into the tub. I bring it all the way to the end and listen for it to click in. Now I wanted to point out when you have something like this, the shower curtain, you're going to need to get an inexpensive inner shower curtain that you can cut two slits in so that it will allow the curtain to hang on each side of this carriage so that your water stays inside the tub. When you're leaving the tub, you're going to again hit this little lever. You're going to give it a little push with your hips. You can bring a leg out, slide over. You can hear it lock in. You can bring your other leg out. Then you're going to use the swivel seat knob here, turn your seat all the way around so that it locks in and there you can move forward and leave the tub. That's how you use this in a tub shower combination. 
Now we're going to demonstrate how to use the swivel sliding transfer bench in a walk-in shower. This shower had doors on it, so obviously I had to take those off. This would not work otherwise. But with this shower, what I would recommend if a client of mine had this was to uh, put a shower curtain here instead of the door. What you would do with this bench is you're going to, of course, back up on the outside of the shower to the bench and sit down in the position that I'm in. Then you're going to take the lever right here and turn the seat bring a foot into the shower you heard the seat lock into position you're going to bring your other foot into the shower then you're going to use this little knob here press down to release the sliding button you're going to slide yourself over and then the seat is going to click into place on this other side to get out you're going to again press this little lever on the right hand side to release the push button you have to give it just a little bit of a shove with your hips to get it going you're going to slide out to the outside you'll hear it lock into place out here you're going to use your swivel seat button right here and then you will bring your legs out lock the seat again into position and then you're able to get up so this is a swivel sliding transfer bench with a cutout from eagle health i think this is a very nice product it's durable it's lighter weight than i expected it to be i think this would be great for individuals anybody that's having trouble stepping over the tub any caregivers that may have to assist people that are having a great deal of difficulty with mobility the one thing i'll stress again is you've got to look at the site take the measurements and make sure this unit would work in a space for you if you want more details and like this product check out the comment section below we'll leave a link for you if this video has been helpful to you please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day, and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it. Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Today we're going to do a review on a swivel sliding transfer bench, and this product was sent to us by Eagle Health. So I wanted to go over a few of the details before we actually put it inside a shower tub combo and a shower stall. So it did not take any tools to put together. I put it together in about 10 minutes. I wanted to go over just a few specifications on this uh, transfer bench. The weight limit on it is 400 pounds. The seat height is adjustable from 21 and 3 quarters inch up to 26 inches. The seat size is 17 and 3 quarters wide.